William McMahon, for a person who's passed away. It's important that we get our minds in the right shape first, because it's through the mind that the merit gets transmitted. Merit is a quality of the mind. The Pali word punya might better be translated as goodness. We're talking about the goodness of the mind, not the goodness of material things. And the goodness of the mind starts with concern for others. When people have passed away, we can't connect with them in the same way that we did before. We can't help them in the same way we did before. It's only through the currents of the mind that we can help. So put your mind in good shape. Think of the goodness of the person who's, who's passed away and how much you want to help that person. And then use that as a motivation to get your mind in good shape, because you want to send a good present to that person. That's what the merit that you dedicate is. It's a present. So you don't want it to be shoddy. You want it to be a really good present. So get your mind in good shape. This is why we practice generosity. We take the precepts, observe the precepts, to get the mind in good shape. But it sits down with itself. There are no wounds. There's no regrets. And the mind can be with itself. And then you look over the mind, get it focused. And then from that focus, you can think of the person who's passed away. Think of the goodness you've done and dedicate it to that person. That person receives the current of your thoughts and is appreciative of the goodness you've done. Okay, then that merit becomes that person's merit. You don't lose any of your merit, of course. Someone once asked to John Fuang, when you dedicate merit to others and you do it to all the beings, do you have anything left? He looked at her and he said, some people are really stupid. Merit's not a material thing that as you hand it out, you, you run out of it. You can think of it more like the light of a candle. Your candle is lit, you see someone else's candle is not lit, you light their candle. The flame in your candle is not diminished, and the world becomes a brighter place. So wherever the person who's passed away has gone, you can make it a brighter place for that person, and you become a brighter place as well. Because as you make merit, you're not making it just for yourself, you're making it for others too. So try to develop this more expansive state of mind, and keep the mind in good shape. All too often after a person has passed away and we feel sad, the brightness of the mind gets dimmed. And you don't want to send a dim mind to the person who's passed. You want to send a bright mind. So think of the goodness the person has done. But also remind yourself that there is still goodness in the world. When Venerable Sariputta passed away and, and Venerable Ananda took the news to the Buddha, Ananda said you know, it was as if the world was dark. He lost his sense of the directions because Sariputta had passed away. And the Buddha asked him, did Sariputta take virtue with him? Did he take concentration? Did he take discernment? He had his own, but he didn't take these things out of the world. The good things of the world are still there. And so dedicate your, yourself to remembering that. Develop, develop as much goodness as you can, taking advantage of the goodness that you find around you. And it's through our goodness for one another. That's how human life becomes a good life to, to have. We see so much war, so much pestilence going on right now, and it's a sad thing to see human beings doing what they're doing to one another. And so we have to create a good example, So this is how human beings should live, virtuous, generous, with their minds under control, finding happiness inside. These are the things that make the world a good place to be. And these things are still here. The potential for them is still here. We try to make the most of that potential. And then you find a happiness that doesn't have boundaries, a happiness that's easy to share. And that other people are happy to receive from you. <laughs>